how to draw our pets. Now, earlier this week with Storytime with me and Frank, you may have seen our story, Pugs Don't Wear Pajamas. Now, because my, my pet is a pug, we're going to be learning how to draw a pug. So if you have a different pet at home, like a cat, a dog, some fish, or maybe even a snake, I'd love to see your drawings and I'd love to see you draw them and upload them to Tapestry so me and the rest of the Beast and Fields team can see them. So because my, I've got a pug, we're going to be learning how to draw a pug. So what you'll need is some paper, a pencil and a black pen. If you don't have a black pen, that is fine because you can just use a pencil. So this is my waggle and a waggle means what a good one looks like. So this is what we're going to be drawing boys and girls. So I'm going to get started straight away and see if you can follow what Miss Thing is doing. So first of all, we're going to hold our pencil finger and thumb with our two fingers behind. Nice and strong at the bottom of the pencil so we can hold it tightly. But I'm going to draw the eyes first, so I'm going to draw two big circles. I am then going to draw two small circles at the edge. I'm then going to start to draw the nose, so I need a line. Pugs have these fatty bits called chops, and they're my favourite. This, boys and girls, is where you need your pen. So I'm going to get my black pen and I'm just going to go over the lines that we have got. A bit like tracing. And if you have made a mistake, that is fine. This actually took Miss Singh quite a few times to do. And you can also use a rubber to rub out any shapes you need. time really slowly. This is something nice and slow to do. Now to do the inside of the eye, this part boys and girls, we're going to get to do some colouring now. So 
So I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to colour the inside of the circle. So I'm just using a black felt tip pen. I'm then going to draw the last bit, which is the dots, which is actually how the dogs breathe. And then you can have some whiskers on it as well, because pugs have whiskers. A bit like a cat. And then I'm going to draw some nostrils where their nose is. And then if you want to, so if I can grab Frank one minute. Frank, come here. So if you have a look at Frank, boys and girls, he has got some whiskers and he's also got a bit of a black dot and some wrinkles at the top. Oh, thank you. That was lovely. So I'm going to just make sure that he has got some wrinkles. top I've got his whiskers and then if you want to you can even put a black dot but I don't really want to put a black dot but you can have some wrinkles up there Frank and there you have it boys and girls and that is my pug so I hope you've had fun today learning how to draw a pug and like I said before if you've got a different pet at home I'd love to see your pets and see how you can draw them so if you can upload them to Tapestry, me and the rest of the Beast and Fields team would love to have a look at them. So I hope to see them and I hope to see you soon. Bye.